The Miller family needed a break from COVID life, so they headed for the great outdoors of western Wisconsin on MLK Day. The kids have been cooped up forever with the indoor education, so we rented some snowmobiles. Mike Miller and his son rode on one. His wife Joan and daughter Zoe took the other. It went so fast. It was like a blink, and then I was down there. I, I passed out for most of it. I don't remember landing or anything. Zoe and her mom spiraled off course and into a tree. I woke up right after I was like screaming for my brother and my dad. My mom was completely out of it. She got hit a lot worse than I did. It was, it was truly chaos. It was a definition of chaos. It was crazy. Mike rushed to help and called 911. My whole mind is blown. My family's never gone through a tragedy like this before. And it's truly really scary and it's, it's, it's really a wake up call. Joan, who remains in the hospital, broke several ribs and had a collapsed lung. Zoe, a student at Amory High School, broke her femur and ribs. I have to use a walker to get around, which kind of sucks, but if I wasn't wearing a helmet, I don't know where I'd be right now. To help with medical bills, the Millers started a GoFundMe and quickly noticed donations from another family in Amory. It was just a post that i seen on Facebook. Their accident happened to be on January 18th, which is the day I lost my six-year-old daughter. Cassie Anderson's beloved Kyla died exactly one year earlier after a similar snowmobiling accident in western Wisconsin. Cassie sent the Millers $160 using proceeds from a t-shirt sale in Kyla's name. She was amazing and I just wanted to spread her love to them. The Millers say they're incredibly grateful and that they hope their own story will raise awareness about outdoor sports safety. It can happen, it does happen, it really really surprised me. It's really shocking. I can't, still can't believe it happened. Danny Spiewak, Carol 11 News. We have a link to the Miller family's GoFundMe at care11.com. Meanwhile, the DNR has some reminders for anyone heading out on a snowmobile this weekend. First and foremost, don't drink and ride or ride with someone who's been drinking and never go out alone. Make sure to dress appropriately for the weather and your safety with a helmet and plenty of warm layers. Watch your speed, stay on the trail and on the right side of the trail. The DNR also says it's safest to avoid lakes and rivers. If you do ride on the ice, Wear a life jacket.